And now with the weather, here's Michael Tetlow. And Michael, the humidity has settled in. Herlin, it's like downtown Denpasar out there, still 28 degrees. That's down from 36 recorded at half past two this afternoon. The low for Perth was 19.1 just after six o'clock this morning. You might as well shut off the evaporative air cons tonight because you know they're great until it's hot or humid. Uh, showers and a possible storm on the way tomorrow. It was in the 30s across the wheat belt. Tadlow in Kargoorlie, 28 degrees there. Similar temperatures along the south coast, 35 was the top in Bunbury. Mandora Station, that's halfway between Broome and Port Hedland, gets WA's hot spot prize with 41 degrees. It was 35 in Newman. Mid-30s across uh, the most of the northern half of the state. Now let's have a look at the satellite series of photographs and we can see there the remains of tropical cyclone Charlotte. That's spreading cloud out across the west coast and feeding moisture into a trough. We can see that on the surface chart. Now that is what's brought these sultry conditions to Perth and the southern half this afternoon. Could also result in a thunderstorm for Perth tomorrow. That low pressure system moving southwards closer to the west coast and will remain out to sea well into next week. So let's go around the nation now. Showers and 24 degrees for Sydney. Showers as well for Brisbane, becoming sunny and 24 in Melbourne. A sunny 28 in Adelaide. Sunny also for Hobart. Back to WA and a shower or two and a possible storm for most of the Kimberley tomorrow. Could be a shower in Exmouth and Carrara too. Sunny and 37 in Port Hedland. Now, heavy rain for, for the central west and parts of the Gascoigne. Possible showers as well. Geraldton going for 30 degrees. Showers also creeping up into the goldfields and developing in Kalgoorlie. Down south, look at this, lightning icons all over the place, as well as storms, heavy falls are forecast from northern eastwards right across the central wheat belt, as well as for places like Albany, Manjimup and Augusta. And there is a strong wind warning forecast for the Perth, Bunbury Geograph and Lewin coasts. So the forecast for Perth, a 90% chance of showers, the chance of a thunderstorm as well, and damaging winds and heavy rain which could lead to some flash flooding in the northern suburbs. Tonight down to 21 degrees before a top tomorrow of 30. Let's have a look at local waters and winds turning east to northeasterly 15 to 20 knots. Before dawn then tending variable below 10 knots in the late morning then becoming south to southeasterly up to 20 knots in the evening seas below a metre. Sunrise at 23 minutes past six and sunset at 22 past six. So, Let's have a look ahead now. A much smaller chance of a shower on Sunday with a possible morning thunderstorm and 28 degrees. Then we've got showers Monday and Tuesday, 29, 30 degrees. Similar on Wednesday with 27. Goes down to a possible shower on Thursday with 30 degrees and partly cloudy by this time next week. Overnight lows ranging from 17 to 20. So Hurling, a good weekend for some undercover plans. Thanks, Michael. And that's ABC News for now. I'm Herlin Kaur. Have a lovely weekend and good night.